Thank you so much, everyone, for being here, and to Shay and Julie and Roz for the invitation and to all the sponsors. Um, it's just wonderful to see an overflowing hall. Um, sadly, the last time we saw an overflowing hall for, for Niles at his funeral, and uh, I was um, just so privileged to be Niles' friend for 17 years, and we were also astral twins. Um, we met on our 39th birthday, and our relationship for me just always brought me back in touch with the mystery. There were so many correspondences and synchronicities between us uh, as twins. Uh, we sh were published by the same press before I was the director of Waterloo Press. Uh, I was published by, by, by the press. Um, we were fascinated by Israel-Palestine. Uh, we had both traveled throughout Europe with, with copies of Rambo. Uh, there was a kind of an awe that I had of, of Nile for, the, for that reason. Um, he just reminded me that there is, there's more to heaven and earth you know, than, meets, than meets the eye. Uh, and also, I met him at a time when uh, I was estranged from my own family, so to have, have that sibling relationship, to have that mutual affection and respect, it just meant the world for me. And uh, I would like to read uh, some extracts from a poem that I wrote. Um, I'd like to dedicate the reading, obviously, to Na, but also to, to Julie. Um, just for a more personal, uh, I think, as, 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 as his friends here would, uh, would like to do, um, a personal reflection on, on the magnitude of the loss. Grey sunshine after black and white by B.W. by Nar McDevitt. October, and I stop on a wet verge Acknowledge two small beacons of eldritch electricity. A pair of poet ghosts lit by ancient filaments in luminous lace berets, dripping onyx signals, sigils on the shining grass. You were born in Limerick, I the same night in Islington. We met on our 39th birthday in a clapped out BMW, I in the back with my bell sized park bow, Diana driving up to a cold curb where you quaffed and quiffed, guitar case buttressing a lamppost, Blake's prints under your arm, squeezed in beside me and we were off. A night scented bouquet of bohos and bon mot floating through London to someone's drunken boat on the Thames, where at a party being thrown for neither of us, we learned we both wrote poetry, both had backpacked round Europe with a battered Rambo, when you strapped on your guitar, sang Blake's songs, I fell silent, don't remember which ones. No one had a phone. <laughs> no one ever recorded those songs. No one can delete my first memory of your face, haloed in the sulphur of Soho and a faint cloud of your February breath. All those Facebook photos of your last days bedding down now in my mind, your bravery a hot salt and dandelion poultice I press against the axe wound to my root. Your death singed the days, blanched the nights, snapped the spine of twinship, drained my mirror of movement, turned my trust in cosmic order into a negative of faith. You, shocked silver hair, blackened grin, bleached soot-striped suit, receding as I, white-lipped, grey-skinned, black-eyed, flow on. I'd like to read one of Niles' poems as well, as well as being Yeats Day. I uh, was just in Lisbon and I discovered today is also for Nan Pessoa's birthday. And that's not just a random factoid, there's actually a mystic correspondence because they both knew Alistair Crowley. Uh, and 
there's a tale to tell there, and I'm happy to tell you um, over, over a, a glass later on. Um, but I also wanted to honor the anniversary uh, tomorrow of the, the, the Inferno uh, of Grenfell Tower. Uh, June 14th, 2017. The Tower of Babylon is Niall's response. The Tower of Babylon. The Tower of Babylon is a black wicker basket smoking into the azure of past, present, future, where the unaccountable dead no longer speak a thousand languages in a thousand windows. The confusion was only ever between two languages, the language of the rich, the language of the poor. Rich mouths, poor ears, they're like chalk and cheese. Poor mouths, rich ears, they're like chalk and cheese. We will clad your tower in such a dress of beauty, it will stand on the horizon like a catwalk model. And lo, the ugly ziggurat they branded an eyesore was no longer anathema to the high ones of Babylon. Thank you for prettifying our out-of-date ziggurat, but now we don't feel 100% safe in our own homes. And lo, the rich ears only listened to rich mouths while the poor mouths continued with their babble. The flames of the gods burnt off the designer gown and spoke a language no one there had ever heard of hells on earth, of hells on earth, naked and walls of fume and walls of fume bare forked. The high ones of Babylon respond in rich language, but nothing, but nothing, but nothing is done. Poor mouths will tell the 24 stories forever. But rich ears have already switched off, moved on. The Tower of Babylon is a black wicker basket. The Tower of Babylon is a black wicker basket. The Tower of Babylon, the Tower of Babylon is a black wicker basket. Is a black wicker basket. Oh.